Shalom, shalom. It's the brother Hadab Yar from the GMS Mobile Alabama camp. Coming to you with another lesson. But before I get started, I want to give our glory, praise, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai by Hashem. I'm proud of God. Never understood our apostles and the elders of the great millstone who teach and rule well. Peace and salutation to the host of the elect that's kind of the broad peace and the truth and sincerity. So you all want to say shalom. And I'm going to name this segregation is wisdom. All right, because when you separate things, you are putting them in their own respective place, which will allow you to identify things better. Okay, all right, you, you looking for this, all right, it's over there, or you looking for that, well, it's over here. All right, you don't have to scramble and pick apart things from other things you're not looking for. So, in this case, all right, or this lesson, I will be talking about people, all right, a group of people, a nation of people. Because throughout life, you sat amongst a specific person or a group. You didn't want to be labeled as someone with a bad name or a bad title. All right, so with that being said, let's get this um this precept, Amos 3 and 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Right, so no matter who you choose to walk with, all right, to, to conversate together, all right, to um hang around or just go out on the town, you know, some shape, form, or fashion, you agree, you know, to be with this person or group. So, most likely, you will be looked upon to be as, you know, that person or group. Especially if you hang with them often. All right? Like these uh, rappers say, if, if you hang with the ops, you get hit too. So, you know, that's why we say, you know, um, don't, don't unite. You know, with these other Israelite camps, man. All right, that's why we don't unite outside of Great Millstone, because these Israelite camps are bugged out, just as the rest of this world. Niggas would get you into a whole world of trouble just by hanging with them. Okay, and as far as you women, you know that I always want to be a part of something. Imagine being in a bra that you that you wasn't ready for, that you wasn't expecting, that you didn't cause. Okay. That brawl in Chicago is a prime example of why we say you sincere women don't need to be amongst us because anything can happen. You know, it's, it's, it's not a, a, a hate type of thing. All right. You know, he, he, he man, want woman haters club type thing, you know, but these other Israelite counts allow their women to be amongst them, you know, to be in harm's way. OK, these other Israelite counts are counterfeit. They are operating off their own list. And like the scriptures say, the end shall speak. And the Lord, you know, has revealed his, his true prophets. Okay. His true servants that follow after the wisdom and knowledge of his word. All right. Not, not them going off, off of their own list. All right. This is Amos um, 9 and verse 9. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. Like as corn is sifted in the seed, yet shall not the least grain fall upon earth. And because of all of Israel, not Israel, all right, meaning they are in the wrong state of mind, falling after their own lust, the Lord will leave them here to melt. Two thirds of our nation are allotted for destruction. So you can link Jake to this too, all right? And, and, and we can clearly see who the true men of the Lord is. Verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. All right. And of our nation, who are the only ones that can say that the evil day shall not kill them? All right. None of us, of course, but the ones that know that they are Israelites, which bring me to this next precept on 1 Peter 4 and 17. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? Come. These different Israelite camps that know of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh will be judged with a horrible judgment. Okay. And as this precept reads, Luke 12 and 47, And that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. And that's the guys that's doing whatever they want. You know, that that's in the midst of these heathens taunting them. All right. These heathens are in an uproar about this war over there in their country. That fight is not ours, Jake. Let them deal with that now. This is Romans 12 and 18. If it be possible, 
as much as life in you live peaceably with all men. God, we shouldn't attempt and provoke others knowing exactly what that can lead to. If we know it's going to be a crowd of people in a certain area, like here in Mobile, for instance, I dear Mardi Gras, automatically we know that it's going to be a legion of demons, you know, that we're going to be around preaching this hated doctrine so we don't put ourselves in harm's way. All right, the scriptures say be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. So putting yourself and, and your members in any situation like that is not being wise at all. And now you probably have bruised members that didn't know how to fight or, or just wasn't in the mood for all that. Hey, the, the blind leading the blind shall fall into a ditch. All right. But I'm going to end it in um, Proverbs 22 and 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Son, you see danger and, and, and continue to head into it. It's not being wise, but since, you know, I guess since you're, you're serving the Lord, you know, he has your back, right? When the scripture, you know, say thou shalt not tempt the Lord, and that's clearly, you know, tempting the Lord, but... That's why segregation is having wisdom because you can see certain BS and know how to, um, you know, and know to go the other way. But it, it's not wise to be joined with these bug outs because it can make you look like a bug out. Uh, you have people looking at you crazy. You know, you have all these different Israelite camps that agree to a certain thing. And, and, and that is pulling up to these people location and turning these churches and heathens. You know, without them even giving them a certain look, yet alone bothering them. Hey, that their feet are swift to mischief. All right, and Lord willing, us that are in this truth of ours don't become bug outs too. We do we we do things to the best of our ability, and decency, and order. You know, of the scriptures. We are not out here making ourselves a target, wearing fringes on every piece of garment we own. We are not, you know, in buildings with with the Star of David symbol posted on it. You know, and and, and and that's another thing. If, if y'all were in that building at that time, y'all couldn't even see the hit. You know, y'all was about to be over with, and it wasn't even a nuke, man. It was a little a little bomb, a little car bomb, man. You know, and you make that proud statement saying that, you know, the Lord is with y'all. Well, from this side, it looked more like a warning, all right? The scriptures say the Lord knows how to preserve the wicked until the day of judgment. One fact of being wicked is not telling your followers what the microchip really is. All right. Well, I'm now I'm, I'm going to end it up on this one. All right, on uh, straight to the point. This is Jeremiah 23 and three, and I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries where I have driven them, and will bring them again to their foes, and they shall be fruitful and increase, which is his elect, the 144,000 of prophets, on down to the rest of the believers and men, women, and children. All right, verse 4, And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, said the Lord Yahweh. And we are being fed every minute of the days. I right, started with our elder apostles on down to us younger men. And we are not lacking wisdom and knowledge, man. Okay? You know, being wise and, and, and prudent, you know, according to the scriptures, all right? Like our apostles say, hey, it's, it's true believers amongst the other Israelite camps that's going to see their shepherds for what they really worth, man. A uh, hundred mil. <laughs> that's it, man. You know, but, um, you know, it, it's going to be some that, 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 that leave from amongst the group, you know, as we get closer to the end, man. You know, but Lord willing, this lesson will edify. So you, I want to say shalom.